the South African Matthew McGillivray versus the Hawaiian Baron Mamiya out in the lineup, and the clock is ticking. That heat eight, 14 and 15 in the rankings, Matthew McGillivray, Baron Mamiya. Baron Mamiya, this guy who just started off in Ooh. his account, Baron Mamiya got his chance. Miguel, you're on fire, catching the best waves again, just all over those good, clean inside barrels. How's that feel? Your second heat of the day? Yeah. Got another one to come. Yeah, it feels nice, you know, just to be in the water. Baker being a, a rookie on the tour, and they haven't met up, you know, that many times. Uh, they have not, obviously, they haven't met up here, as we see. It's McGillary. Matty tried. That's going to be a wave number two attempt for Matt McGillivray, surfing under the priority of Baron Mamiya as well as the priority. Out, he was able to get himself underneath the ledge and, of course, gets that score. Back to live action. And an incomplete ride. And also in the non-priority heat, Baron Mamiya getting up and going down. So both non-priority non competitors, Matthew McGillivray, as well as Baron Mamiya. Now they're going to get to speed position. That's when you get on the saddle, you tuck that board. Here we go. Baron Mamiya grabbing the rail, high line exit for the Hawaiian. So while Matty's making the loop back into the lineup, Baron Mamiya is going to have the first um, meaningful number in his matchup against Matthew McGillivray. And uh, also, he just writes down all of his goals in a diary that he travels with as we see this replay, straight into this replay of Baron Mamiya. Well, these are the only two surfers left in the water with the um, overlapping heat. Well, and that's what it is. He saw heat two is still to be determined. So whoever wins this heat is going to go into heat two. So that's why we're not doing overlapping right out of the gates. Maddie dragging on the takeoff, gets in the barrel, travels through there and comes out. An 8.4 is what he needs if he wants to take the lead on just one way. Take a look at first Matthew McGillivray driving through this one. And how good is that? That was a perfect choke a wall. Nice easy drop with a growing ball as it turns the corner into the channel. Look at it, he points down. That's what you have to do here at Chopo is point down to get yourself into the open bowl. You pull up too high, it goes too vertical, you go trip over the falls. But that there was a beautiful view for him. That's the kind of uh, view you want to have. You're looking out the hole into the channel with the beautiful mountain sides there. Strider smiling at you. Look at that, just green. Blue, beautiful. Look, nice and deep, too. This is going to be a good number. More importantly, he got oh. his name into the book. And Baron Mamiya on the second wave taking a trip down the mine shaft there, top to bottom. And Mamiya pops wow. up. Looks like it's no problem for the young Hawaiian wow. coming back up. Cutting back to live action with Matty McGillivray again to his feet. He got an 8.17 on that previous ride. 8.17, that excellent number for Matthew McGillivray is going to play, come into play. Now he just needs a 1.56, Peter. Matty again, this time just more on the corner, but I feel he's got the job done. Just need a 1.56 to take the lead. And we're going to have a switch in lead right now with 7 minutes, 45 seconds remaining. Uh, Jack Robinson, Nathan Hedge, that's a good one. Oh, look at this one. Baron Mamiya drops into a big caverns. Foam ball, spit, riding through some difficult water. And the answer back that from Baron Mamiya. Is a great example of the backhand being so important to stall. He held that wall as hard as he could to maximize the barrel there. He's going to keep the lead. You see here, watch, at the bottom. Air drops in right here. He just put the e-brake on. He's got all four tires stopped <laughs> to make sure he maximizes the, the barrel. Again, late on the drop, but there, see how he just plants himself against the wall. And then even here, he's just pushing his butt against the wall with the handbrake. And what a beautiful technique, too, on, on, the, on the backhand to be able to just contort his body, you know, squaring the shoulders. Here's another look, Peter. Look at this. I mean, look at the conditions, too. It's just butter at the moment. What a difference an hour makes. 
right? And sometimes we see that, you know, it, is that something where, uh-oh, we got more waves on the way. You talk, talked about Champagne Hour. Here we go. Big drop for Matthew McGillivray in another cavern. Wow. And Maddie comes out of that one. So back and forth. And Te Po is turning on right on cue. Really cool. You know, it looks like we're going to be, this round of 16 will be on fire. Because he only needs a 3.66. This wave's way more than that. Yeah, I would say so. You know, again, carrying a ton of speed through the barrel. So the judges are giving a rewarding for yourself, being able to fly through the section, carrying that speed. Again, great technique once again from Matthew. He lets go of the rail, too. And that, again, showing that technical aspect of barrel riding, releasing inside of the barrel. And the judges won't necessarily see that, but... We get to, and that was really cool. Wow, what an exciting heat. And we talked about it before. Look at the technique. Look at the glassy, wide open barrel. Uh, with his arms wide open. Again, that's we've seen that happen with Kelly Slater. John John releasing the rail. Look at leading with his body all the way down, right on the nose of the board, gets up underneath it, and then releases and enjoys the ride. No, oh, love the view in slow motion. A oh, couple spits. And a 7.17 for this ride. We have just a minute and 20 seconds remaining for Baron Mamiya. Baron Mamiya looking for a big score. Needs an 8.84. Here goes Mamiya on a thick one. Let's see what he has. Deep in the barrel, still in the barrel, traveling through. Can he find the exit? And Baron Mamiya unable to find that exit. Matthew McGillivray right behind him, traveling through section after <laughs> section, and Maddie comes through, little victory dance for the South African. Really cool for Matthew. We didn't know, we didn't know what to expect from Matthew. We haven't seen him out here. We haven't seen any videos, and you know what? He did not disappoint. That was a really tough draw against Baron Mamiya, and he got there and executed in a big way. Uh, but it is official that Matthew McGillivray is gonna move on into the round of 16. Well, he's coming up in just uh, probably, what, 23 minutes. So he's just gonna grab a new jersey and head back out there. And right now, champagne hour, what he did right there, he's gonna be pretty <laughs> stoked about it. And there's the final numbers, 8.17, 7.17.